Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Ari Omlen and today we're going to take a look at how to build a high converting funnel for affiliate marketing. So I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to do this, but also baked into all of it, I'm going to talk about three important lessons that I have learned so far from my experience with building different funnels, testing them and seeing what works and what doesn't work as well. So there are many different types of funnels you could build. The one that we are building today is one that works very well for affiliate marketing. It starts with an opt-in page or landing page and the main target of that page is to capture the email address and then we send them to a bridge page where we introduce the affiliate product and then we send them to the affiliate sales page. So it's a fairly short funnel but it's very effective for affiliate marketing. Now, maybe all of this sounds complicated, you know, building funnels, building pages, creating email lists, adding them to an email list. But with using Builderwall, it makes it super, super easy. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can do all of this in Builderwall, how to build a funnel, build out the pages, create new email list and add people to that email list. So if you don't have an account with Builderwall yet, you can sign up to the link down below. You can get all the tools you need for just $30 per month. It will allow you to do all of the things that I'm going to show you in this video. So once you have your account with Builderwall, it's time to start building the opt-in page. And now we are at the main office of uh, Builderwall and we're going to use the Cheetah website builder to do this. If this doesn't show up, you can just go to apps, click on Cheetah website builder and then add it to your dashboard. Then you'll be able to just click enter. Then we're just going to scroll down and click on create a new site and we're going to choose a simple template and I like to just go with the blank template. I'm going to click on blank and select this. Then hit save. So there we have our new website. This is where we are going to add the two pages of our funnel. I'm going to start by editing and creating the opt-in page. So you have a few options uh, with the opt-in page. You can either have a what we call a lead magnet, which is a free product that you're giving away. It could be an ebook or PDF or cheat sheet or a free training that you're giving away in exchange for someone's email address. Or you can kind of talk about what people are going to learn with your affiliate product. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're not going to give away a free ebook, but we're just going to kind of talk about what people will be able to do once they have the affiliate product that we promote. So you're going to understand what I mean later. So I'm going to take this panel, just make it a bit bigger, remove this text, also remove this box. And I'm going to click on this arrow to add a new box. Just going to scroll down and click on add elements and add a new box like this one, drag it in to this panel, make it a bit bigger. And this opt-in page or this funnel is going to be for a make money online uh, affiliate product or make money online niche. But the framework or the ideas and the lessons you're going to be taught in this video, you can use that for pretty much any kind of niche and any kind of product that you are promoting. So I'm adding a box and then we're going to add the headline. When you are creating the headline, you want to focus on the main desire of uh, your visitor. So this funnel is going to be for a product where people can learn how to start affiliate marketing. So that is what I'm going to focus on. So my headline is going to be this is the best way to get started with affiliate marketing. The text is a bit big, so just click on this uh, A button here, go to title one, just gonna make it a bit smaller like that. And I want to make this panel a bit bigger. Just click on it, click on this pencil to edit the element, sizes and height. Just gonna make it a bit bigger like that. 
and also make this box a bit bigger. Then I'm going to move this headline down a bit because I want to add a picture of myself here at the top. Now this works very well if you have a personal brand. So if you have some, maybe a TikTok account or a YouTube channel where you show your face, then it's, it works pretty well to have a picture of yourself just to kind of show that this is your page and people will see a face that they have already seen. Now, if you have a brand where you don't really show your face, then I don't think it's gonna be necessary to add a picture of yourself. So I just added an, an, an image and I'm gonna edit this element, go to general settings, change the image, and I've already uploaded an image of myself. I'm gonna go with this one, save it. That looks pretty good. Now I want to add a bit more text. So just click on add elements and text. I'm gonna go with headline two. I'm also going to add in headline three. And I'm just gonna write with this method, you don't need to Uh, create your own product. So I'm just pretty much writing out the benefits of doing affiliate marketing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that and just center it, center this as well. And I think all of this text is a bit big. I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller, the headline. Also headline number two. And number three is a bit big as well. And at the bottom here, we, oops, we want to add a footer. I've already made a footer for myself. So I'm just gonna add that one, go to personal uh, panels and add my footer, which you will be able to, to see what you'll need to have in your footer. So I just have a logo and uh, this legal stuff right here that is important that you have. And that is almost everything we need for this opt-in page. And this leads us to lesson number one that I found, uh, which is just keep it as simple as possible. I've tested different backgrounds, different background colors, having fancy animations and images. But what I've found is that the simpler you can make a opt-in page like this, the higher conversion rate is going to be usually. Try to keep it simple, try to keep it clean, professional, doesn't have to be fancy at all. Focus on the main desires of your visitor and have as few distractions as possible. But now we need a way to capture the email address and add people to an email list. And you have two options here. You could either add an uh, email marketing form just straight into this page but what I've found that works best is to actually just add a button here and then have a pop-up where people enter in their email address so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add element and add a button like this one and I'm just gonna write I want to learn more. And now we need to go back one step and create uh, the pop-up. So just went back here and gonna click on global elements and pop-ups. And I'm just gonna create a new pop-up. I'm gonna call it emails, hit save, edit the pop-up. And we're gonna make it uh, fairly similar. So I'm gonna add a panel blank panel and I like to add a border so I just hit edit element uh, border here border size 2 border shape like that and then I write almost there enter in your 
name and email address to get access. I'm just going to center it, make it a bit bigger again, and add a bit more text. Something along the lines of weekly emails, no spam, unsubscribe whenever you want. And then in this pop up is where we're going to add in the email marketing form. So I'm going to go down to email marketing form, pick one that you like, drag and drop. And if you don't have an email list here, you can just click on create a new list. It's going to take you to mailing boss and you can set up a new email list there. I'm just going to pick uh, one that I already have, legendary marketer list, hit save. And then I I'm going to edit it a bit and just not show label I would like that. And I'm going to edit the headline. Say I want to learn more. And now I'm also going to add a bit more text to the bottom here. So there we have the pop up. So when people click on this button, we want this pop up to show up. I'm just going to take a look at the mobile version and see what it looks like. I'm going to move this up, move this up, and that's fine. I'm going to hit save and uh, then go back to the page, the opt-in page. So now that we have the pop-up, we want to add the link here and make sure that when people click this button, the pop-up is going to show up. I'm just going to click on this and click on this icon to set the link and go down to pop-ups and click on emails and click select. So instead of asking for the email address and the name straight away, we are just asking them to click this button first. And this leads us to lesson number two that I found is that you want to create micro commitments for your visitors. So what I mean by that is, when I first got started with building funnels, I thought to myself that what if people don't opt into my email list, then they are not going to see the affiliate product. And so I tried to just send people straight to the bridge page, don't even capture their email address, because I thought that the more people that see the affiliate product or that see the bridge page, the more people are going to buy it. But as it turned out, that is actually not true. The reason is that you are asking for too much too soon from your visitor. So you want to try to get your visitors to make micro commitments. So the first micro commitment they make to you is to go to your page. Then using this method with a button, we're just asking them to click a button instead of entering their email address and the name first. And then once they have done that, they are kind of unconsciously, they are thinking, okay, I've already visited this page, I've already clicked on that button, might as well just enter my email address. And this actually gives higher conversions. It has done that with all of the tests that I have run, more people enter their email address once they have already made a micro commitment to you. And then once they have entered in their email address and their name, they are much more likely to buy the product that you promote afterwards. So hopefully that makes sense. Don't ask for too much too soon create micro commitments for your visitors. And this right here is a great way of doing just that. So now the opt-in page is done. I'm just gonna click on save here and, and then click on that's fine to publish it. And now we can start making the bridge page. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna click on create a new page. I'm gonna call this bridge page and I'm going to use the uh, page that we already made the autumn page as a template so click on my pages scroll down to this website which I think is this one and uh, the home page just click on save 
and we can start editing this bridge page. Now, once again, make it as simple as possible for the bridge page. All we are going to have is a headline, then a video of you or of me talking about and introducing the affiliate product, and then a button with the affiliate link. That is all that is going to be in addition to this legal stuff, of course. So I'm going to remove this uh, image of myself. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to delete this text. And, uh, this text as well. And I want to edit or add a video. Now for me, I usually just do a YouTube video and upload it as an unlisted video. I'm going to go down to video here and edit or add. A YouTube video, make it a bit bigger. So this bridge video should be not too long. I would say two, three, four, maybe five minutes long, not longer than 10 minutes, where you kind of briefly want to talk about the bridge or the affiliate product. Don't give away too much, but kind of talk about the results that maybe you have had with the affiliate product or that other people have had, but try to get the visitor curious and interested in your affiliate product. So for this one, this is where you want to add your affiliate link. So set the link and go up to web and enter in your affiliate link here. I'm going to edit the headline as well. Just call it, take the next step. And then here you want to add the link to your unlisted YouTube video. And that is all there is to this bridge page. Again, just make it very, very simple. Few distractions, clean, professional looking, just like this. Once it is done, I'm gonna hit save. And now if you don't have a domain, after you've clicked on that's fine. If you don't have a domain for your funnel, you can get that here. Just buy a domain at the build roll. And in order to connect it, I'm gonna go back here and click on connect domain. Just enter your domain here and hit save. Now, a very important step for this to work is we want to make sure that when people join your email list, then they are sent to this bridge page. So we're gonna go back to the main office and go into mailing bus autoresponder again if you don't have this just go to apps and click here and click add to dashboard so i'm gonna enter mailing bus autoresponder and we're gonna find the list that we used for the email marketing form so just go to lists and this is the list that uh, we are using and i'm gonna update it then go to pages over here and uh, click on subscription confirmed. So that when people have joined your email list, you want to make sure that they go to this bridge page or this bridge page. So once you have connected your domain and you have published this site, you can just go and go to website, get the link. This isn't going to work now, I don't think. Oh, it actually does. And I'm just going to copy this link, go back to mailing boss, scroll down, click on advanced over here and add in my new link, the link to the bridge page. Then it says, instead of the above message, redirect to redirect the subscriber to the following URL. So I'm going to add your bridge page URL link here and click on save and next. When people join the legendary marketer list or the list that you have created, then they will be sent directly to this bridge page. So once your pages are done and you have connected the bridge page to the email list, then it's time to test the funnel. So just going to go to the website and just going to make sure that everything works as it should work. Click the button, the pop-up shows up. 
enter my name and my email address and click on I want to learn more and then we are redirected to this bridge page and this is where you should have your affiliate link of course so that when people watch your video they get interested in learning more about affiliate product and they click the button and they go to the affiliate sales page now we are in mailing boss and you can see that we have one new subscriber on our email list that is me of course all right right there so that way we know everything works exactly as it should work and now we have one final very important lesson that is going to ensure that you have high conversions no matter what kind of funnel you are making and that is to do split tests a split test is that you have two pages that are very similar so you have your main landing page then maybe you edit the headline so you copy the page you just edit the headline then you run a test to see which one of these pages converts better so the way that you're going to do this in build wall is to just duplicate the home page the main opt-in page there we have the copy gonna go in and edit it and when you run a split test you want to make sure that you only switch one variable at the time so don't switch up the headline and the text and the image and the button and everything switch one thing run a split test for that one thing figure out which one of those pages converts the best then change up one other thing so we can start by editing the headline we can have for instance a headline like that on our copy and then hit save now we're going to go back and we're going to go to split tests here and we're going to add a split test so the main page is going to be the home page the target page that we want people to go to is of course the bridge page that is where we want people to end up i'm going to click on save and now we want to add a page so now we're going to add the home copy page with the different uh, headline so it's going to be the exact same url link but build wall is going to send you know half of the people to the main home page and then half of the people to the copied page and then you're going to get some data here and you can see which one of these converts the best by doing that you will constantly optimize your uh, entire funnel and you can do this for several pages you can have two different bridge pages as well and this is a great way to get a high converting funnel and figure out what works the best now hopefully you'll be able to create a funnel like this for yourself start building your email list and start getting sales for your affiliate product but if you want to just copy my exact funnel you can actually do that for free so i have a link below where you can copy the exact funnel that i have used it's very similar to the one that we made in this video i used it to to promote the 15 day challenge and i made i think over 300 dollars in the first month using only one free traffic source and this exact funnel so if you go to the link down below you'll get it for free the entire funnel you get the 10 day email sequence to promote that product and you'll get the free traffic source that i use to make money with this so if you're interested in that there's going to be a link down below and once again if you haven't signed up to build all yet i don't really know what you're waiting for you can get started you can get all of these tools to build a funnel build landing pages build bridge pages build websites do email marketing set up autoresponders set up email sequences all of that stuff you get all that for only 30 dollars per month you will not find a software like this for such a low price anywhere else so there's a link down below if you want to sign up and get started i highly highly recommend it so i hope that you learned something in this video if you did please hit that like button if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching take care i'll see you in the next video bye bye